Hi, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to do two-step stamping with a touch of ink photopolymer stamp set. This set's free with a $120 purchase before tax and shipping um, during celebration, which goes to the end of February 2021. The stamp set comes with the outline images as well as um, these watercolor background pieces. So you can absolutely just stamp your image and color it um, with either the blends, watercolor pencils, or the stamp and write markers, um, or you can use the background stamp as well. So I'm going to first of all show you um, the butterfly. So with this one, um, I stamped the image in the memento black, and then I overlaid the pumpkin pie ink on top. Um, I'll show you how to do a little bit of a different technique with the hummingbird. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a piece of white cardstock. And I'm gonna cut it to five and a half by four and a quarter. All right, for this one, I'm gonna actually use my stamp blocks. Um, but when I do the but show you how to do the butterfly, I will use the Stamparatus. Okay. So for the hummingbird, I'm going to do the outline shape first. So I'm just going to adhere it to my block and grab the Memento Black ink. Now, I've already used this stamp a couple of times, but the first time I use any of the stamps, I like to go off on a little piece of scrap paper first, just to make sure that it's going to give a crisp, clean impression, um, because sometimes there can be a little bit of residue left over from the manufacturing process. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp my hummingbird and lift it off. And then I'm going to take it off of my block it off to the side and then bring in this piece. Um, so you can see that there's a few spots on the stamp that have no, um, they're dug in deeper. So those pieces won't um, have any color on them when you go ahead and stamp it. So I'm going to color with the stamp and write marker right onto the stamp. It has two ends, the tip end, which is great for writing and the brush end, which I love to use for coloring. So I'm going to do mostly green on this guy with a little bit of red. A lot of the hummingbirds that we have here um, have a lot of green on them and just a little bit of red. So I'm just going to do a little bit of red on his chest and maybe a little bit of red on his head. Now it is important um, to moisten your stamp before you put it onto the paper because during the coloring process um, it is possible that it the ink dried a little bit so I've just got my mister so I'm just going to pull it move my stamp out of the way of the camera so that I don't get water all over my desk and I'm just going to give it a spritz probably about um, six inches or so above the stamp and it's also I'm going to pool so it will give it a really lovely watercolor effect. I'm just going to line it up and one of the great things about the photopolymer stamps is you can see exactly where you're placing it. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and put it down onto my paper and then lift it up. And if your ink isn't exactly where you want it to be, all you need to do is grab a watercolor brush. Oops take the tab off. Now I don't have any water in this one. So I'm just going to do a little spritz onto my block and pick up some of the water and move it around a bit just to kind of give it a bit of that extra watercolor effect and a little bit more smoothness. Okay, now I'm going to put this guy off to the side to dry. And I'll show you how to use a Stamparatus for the same thing. You know, the Stamparatus is a positioning tool and it does come with the two plates, which is perfect if you're doing um, 
multiples if you're doing, say, birthday invitations or wedding invitations. Um, it's also great if you don't have fantastic strength in your hands or a lot of mobility. I've been finding since my accident that I've been using the Stamparatus quite a bit more. Um, and it does reduce the margin of error in stamping quite a bit. Um, because when you use the red stamps, it's not such a big deal or such a common problem, I guess, with the photopolymer stamps because it doesn't have, um, they're not as thick and the run around around them isn't as large. Um, with the red rubber stamps, sometimes um, you can get a bit of a halo on your stamping. And even with the red rubber, it's really challenging to get a halo. I've actually tried, um, but because the plate goes so smoothly, it gives a basically perfect impression every single time. Okay, so I'm going to place my butterfly on my white cardstock and just press it down to pick it up. Oops. I've got a little bit of ink left over from the last time. I thought I washed it, but I guess I didn't, which isn't a big deal because I placed it exactly there. When I go to close the Stamparatus, it'll go exactly where I put it and that'll be covered up. So give it a push. Um, if you don't have a lot of strength in your hand with the Stamparatus, you can either use a stamp block and run over top of it, um, or you can use a dry erase brush and do the same thing and just pull it down. Okay, and there is our butterfly done. I'm gonna move the outline off to the side and then I'm gonna bring in the watercolor piece and I'm just gonna line it up on top of my butterfly where I want it. I'm gonna try to aim for as lined up as I can get. Okay, there's a V shape here where the wings, um, oh, got a fingerprint, where the wings are separated and at the top as well. So I'm just gonna make sure that those two pieces are basically where I want it lined up. And then I'm gonna close the Stamparatus again. And this time I'm gonna ink it up with my pumpkin pie ink. So I'm gonna take my Memento Black, put it underneath so that my plate doesn't move very much when I go to ink it up. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave my ink open um, just in case I need to add a little bit more later. Okay, give it a press and then lift it up. So I didn't press hard enough here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more ink and I'm gonna focus my pressure where I didn't press very hard the first time. Okay, and then lift it up. There we go, and you can just keep layering the color. I actually want it a little bit darker, I think. Keep layering the color until you're content with how it looks. So I'm content with that. Now I'm just going to take it off of my Stamparatus and I'm going to go ahead, finish these cards off and then post them onto my Facebook page, which is Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. And I'll post the link down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified every single time a brand new video comes up and follow me on Facebook. Also, I have a link over there if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, which comes out twice a month and includes a free project in every newsletter. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.